Oh, I, I did. I'm not talking about that issue. Oh, what I'm talking about is ceasefire in Kashmir. We are talking about and the issue of the resolution of Kashmir and the and the commission that was appointed by United Nations. It was about to hold the plebiscite at that yes, time. Sir, you are going uh, back your to side, Kashmir. The New Delhi. Sir, you are going back to the, the, the whole process of no, half-baked facts. Sir, you are going back to Kashmir and you are not talking about the critical issue. You know, if you say... Yeah, look, there is no infiltration from Pakistan because Pakistan cannot afford that. We are that. talking about peace between India and Pakistan. <laughs> so we have to talk about Kashmir, we have to talk about water, we have to talk about Balochistan. Sir, if you want to... to talk look, about there, was, there is and one thing and I have, have to say. One this and this you nexus... You about line of control only, you, there, there has been attacks uh, on Pakistan army in these days when uh, Nawaz Shir offered you peace. If you want to talk about only that sector, so no, even in that, 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 that control, sector, you are the that, aggressor, is that, aggressors. You I, are I the would aggressors. like to and share the breaking news with you. I would like to share the breaking news with you, Senator, that what has happened in the line of control is that your soldiers, your regulars and your terrorists have all been battered back and they are fleeing as of this minute from the Karen sector. I know it must be hitting uh, I you am hard, so but glad that is exactly you brought up what happened this, in 1947. Uh, this side of the story. That is what happened in 1965 and that is what is happening in 2013. Why don't you learn the lessons of it? No, in 1965, you couldn't do a damn thing. Your Why entire air force trying? was destroyed by Pakistani Air Force. What are you talking about, 65? As far as 71 <laughs> is concerned, it is, it, sir, we had an sir, internal sir, issue. Sir, you, know, you took advantage you of that. So, oh, yeah, you come on. History, Mr. You, Pichata, I, I, let me I, I, tell you talk about today. Today, your forces cannot not cross the line of control. This is a hard military fact of, 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 of the present time. So Your you forces are. cannot... Uh, no, you just uh, are not I in a position Pizza to do so. Pizza Pizza is completely... I mean, he is... I, 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 I would like I would like Kawal Sibali. You know, we are in a situation tonight. First, let's understand how serious the situation is. I think... With give great respect try. to both the Senator if, if and Sayyid Tariq Pizad and Haider Abbas Mizvi, you, you know, would this not is be playing with fire. Alone. Alive, I can tell you that. Sir, look, sir, the, me, you, let, sir, you are, let, sir, let sir Mr. Pizad, this is playing with fire. Like in Kargil, like in 47, like in 65, because your army backs Indian the media, regulars, you Indian get battered back. But you know Indian what? Army, this is playing this with fire. And I think has been if, promoting if you have no control over your army, I think you should take us into confidence about it. And this was your media who said in the last one year, they, and you are spearheading that moment, Arnav, that yes, so it's Kawal time Sibal, to teach a lesson to Pakistan. No, what's Ka Kawal and I heard Sibal, you what's the alternative now? Dozens what of is time. the alternative? We see a, a, a split no, no, down the middle now. in the Pakistani that's establishment. No one's taking responsibility for what's happened. What's no. the alternative? Well, frankly speaking, there is no prospect of any reasonable peace with Pakistan in the foreseeable future. And you can gauge that from the attitudes of the people on this panel who are responsible. They are senators and the kind of arguments they're giving, the, uh, the attitude they have, and uh, the outright lies that they are purveying uh, actually indicates very clearly that there is not going to be any meeting of minds. Now, for example, the senator has said that India is infiltrating people into FATA and in Balochistan. For heaven's sake, is he implying that we have a lot of Indians on the other side of FATA and from there we have staging posts and the, and the Afghan government is allowing it and the Americans are allowing it and the ISF is allowing it and this is creating problem. Number two, which is the most disturbed area in, in Pakistan? It is North Waziristan, it is FATA, it is, uh, it is Karachi. And uh, you have now in uh, in Pakhtunwa, in uh, in Khyber Pakhtunwa incidents against the church. Uh, Balochistan is relatively quiet. And if India was actually so active in Balochistan, Balochistan would be the hottest spot in in in, in Pakistan. Number three, he he has taken exception to our prime minister having yeah. said something about Pakistan being an epicenter of terrorism when meeting Obama. Before that, what did what did uh, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif say? that he, he said he's going to bring the international Kashmir up front uh, to international attention. He said Kashmir is the jugular vein of Pakistan. He gives uh, Hafiz Saeed the opportunity to lead the Eid players, uh, players at, uh, at the stadium, in yeah. Gaddafi Stadium. Now, what was the signal he was giving us? If he wants peace, he must create the right atmosphere. And then in the United Nations, he, he, he talks about Kashmir more than is necessary if his intention is to create the right kind of, no, but, the right kind of atmosphere. So, there he so talks about third-party intervention. So, so, 
he's, he has provoked us diplomatically no, get, on a broad get, no, front. Which, which and at the same me, time, these people argue... It brings me to the root issue. Hmm. Hmm. No, which brings me to the moot issue, which I wanted to direct this debate towards. That if I, when remembers when Musharraf came to India. I am have to sorry to have to be direct about it. It was not just the doves, those who were leaning towards the doves, the moderates, and I must say the soft hawks as well, who were all in love with Musharraf and who felt Musharraf can do no wrong. The entire Pakistani establishment may be wrong, but here's a good man. He wants peace. We gave a similar certificate to everyone, including Mr. Gilani. But what about Nawaz Sharif himself, uh, Subramaniam Swami? He's the man in charge. Do you think he's completely oblivious of what is going on? Well, he is not the man in charge. He has, in the elections, he has made uh, deals with these very forces today, <laughs> which are represented in your in your in your panel, and they are uh, hardliners, and he is not in a position to do anything against them. They have utter contempt for him. They are, he is just a decoration in Pakistan. It's wrong for India to negotiate with him. So, but, but, but Mr. Pirzada, yes. Of Taliban, they gave a carte blanche uh, to Nawaz Sharif and army was a part of that. Mr. Uh, Nawaz Sharif is the strongest president, uh, prime minister of the history of Pakistan at the present time. If you can't take the benefit of that man in Islamabad, you can never resolve the issue of Kashmir or the conflict on the life line of control. Understand, he has the backing of every single the Pakistani the at the present time. So Mr. Subramaniam Swami, you know, this is not you. This is your party speaking. Mr. Pirzada, you know, you, you came in there. I didn't want to, I didn't want to interrupt you, I, but, but I must interrupt you because you must go back and read Please. the PML and 100-page report. And it says that the Kargil operation was a clear and unquestionable diplomatic and military victory for India and another military debacle Mr. for Pakistan. Pizada, it does not say military debacle for Pakistan terrorists. It says military debacle he for says Pakistan. Now you are right. right. this opportunity of. Uh, All right, Arnab, here is another issue. If, if Mr. Musharraf was such a terrible person, you were the guys who invited him to Agra. Come on, you've been dealing with every military, sir, please, uh, sir, you know, please, president sir. in Pakistan, and now you are complaining against them. You are the. Uh, if somebody is to be blamed, this is you. You should not have a dealt with him. No. You, you, you can't. You, you, I don't understand the flow of your logic, Mr. Pirzada. I'm going back to Subramaniam Swami. Oh, you I'm see, sorry. we are used to a situation oh, so where the government and the army works understand. together. You must understand that what is normal for you is not normal for us. And there is a genuine problem the Indian state has in engaging with half a state on the other side. Subramaniam Swami, how should we deal with the problem long term? Now? Well, first of all, all these incidents that have taken place in the last five, six years, they are all mini acts of war. They are people who are crossing into our uh, areas, they are chopping the heads of our, uh, of our jawans, and we are responding by saying uh, we want peace talks. Now, obviously, this is a, uh, no, we, we are sending the wrong message to Pakistan. Okay. We have to respond to show Pakistan. that we can defend our borders in a way which will hurt Pakistan if they uh, try to cross it. That's what needs to be done in the beginning. Then only peace talks can really have any well, value. Where okay, Brigadier Javed Hussain has been watching this debate and this he says he's got on the phone line with us. He's called times now. He says Maru Praza is putting me wrong. And therefore, Brigadier Javed Hussain is on the phone line. Brigadier Javed Hussain, how are you watching times now? Where? In Karachi? Well Good evening. You just cannot do anything but you did in the Brigadier? past. Brigadier? He problem. admitted to you. you think there's a regional super... Brigadier Javed Hussain, you're there. Can you hear me? Yes. Well, uh, I, yes, I, I uh, you're watching the Times Now channel in Karachi, and I think you want to rebut uh, Maru Fraza. There's a slight audio delay between both of you, but I, since we always believe in being absolutely fair and balanced on the, uh, every story, I will let you make your point directly to Maru Fraza. Go ahead, sir. Maru's listening to you. Yeah, uh, Maruf uh, Raza just a while ago quoted me uh, saying that uh, the militants who are uh, operating in Kashmir, they are being uh, sponsored by the Pakistani Army Special Forces. So as a former Special Forces officer, I can say this with authority that Pakistani Special Forces have got nothing to do 
with the freedom fighters inside Kashmir. Now, as far as this uh, this infiltration, uh, which is the subject of this uh, debate, goes. Well, let me again uh, uh, say this: that Pakistani forces have their hands full. There are formations which have been withdrawn from the NOC and committed in FATA. So the NOC is very likely held. And it would be a mad commander who, under the circumstances, would provoke a fight on the NOC. The question that has to be answered by you, by all the panelists, by the Indian Army, is why is this inf so-called infiltration being uh, allowed across the most heavily fortified zone in the world? And that too, that too, when uh, so, the Indian Army enjoys... Well, I think now, now you're going back. You first, I'll allow you to rebut because you rebutted your comment. However, I believe no, no. Javed Hussain... One minute, Javed Hussain, stay on the line because I think... I think you are going back on what you said earlier. As far as what's happening on the LOC is concerned, let me tell you, unlike in 1989, when you made an attempt and were thrown back after 10 years, Javed Hussain know this, that you have been thrown back immediately this time. That should teach all the Pakistani army special officers who have done this a lesson for the rest of their lives. But Maruf is rebutting you, Maruf.